spotted quail thrush are shy, insectivorous, ground-dwelling birds found in open forest down Australia's east coast. They really like rocky hillsides and lightly forested ridges with lots of leaf litter, clumps of grass and low shrubs. If you're on foot, this species can be very hard to spot because they see or hear you coming from a long way off and they just melt off into the bush. But they don't associate cars with people. So if you're driving along and you see one, if you stop on the track, they'll likely come back, walking back onto the track to feed and you'll be able to get a good view of them. This is a female bird. Unfortunately, shooting telephotos through the windscreen has pretty indifferent results. So here's a nice still image of one of these subtly beautiful little ladies. It would be hard to get a better view of a quail thrush than this and I got it under unusual circumstances. We flushed this male right at the edge of a track and as usual it walked away and disappeared into the low patchy undergrowth. But suddenly it reappeared a few metres away on a fallen trunk overhanging the track. It watched us for two or three minutes before dropping into the undergrowth and walking past us parallel to the track before disappearing. This was in the middle of the breeding season, so I reckon it was distracting us from a nearby nest. The species usually breeds from August to December. They nest on the ground in a depression loosely lined with a cup-shaped structure of grass, leaves and bark. Two or three eggs are laid and incubated exclusively by the female. The male shares in feeding the hatchlings on a variety of insects. Quail thrushes range from Rockhampton in Queensland through New South Wales, the Australian Capital Territory and Victoria to Tasmania with a small isolated population in South Australia's Mount Lofty Ranges. The spotted quail thrush came to scientific notice very shortly after the first fleet arrived at Sydney Cove in 1788. Midshipman George Raper drew this charming illustration of a female sometime before 1790, and in 1794 the species was formally described and named by George Shaw, Assistant Keeper of Natural History at the British Museum, using specimens shipped back to London. Sometime between 1838 and 1840, Elizabeth Gould made this beautiful illustration of the species from life for John Gould's monumental eight-volume Birds of Australia. In the convention of the time, the male bird is placed in the foreground. The spotted quail thrush isn't officially regarded as endangered, but its population would have taken a hell of a beating from the catastrophic 2019-2020 bushfires, which reduced hundreds of square kilometres of its habitat to ash bed. I videoed this pair of quail thrush in the months before the fires. I haven't heard or seen quail thrush in the burned forest since. If you liked this video, please hit the red subscribe button and the bell icon and you'll be notified of new Werong Lane videos.